Greetings gamers, Depressor here, and today I'm going to be making a new 2021 NordVPN video for your Xbox Series consoles. So this video is intended for the consoles for Generation 4 and up, so i.e. the Xbox One, Xbox One Generations, uh, the Xbox Series S, and the Xbox Series X. They all have the same software, so it's all going to work for those kinds of consoles. Uh, the purpose of making this video is that it's going to be a lot shorter than my first one, and second all, it is for the purpose of hiding your IP, getting less DDoS attacks, etc. So you can be playing like GTA 5, Rainbow Six Siege, Apex Legends, and then all of a sudden you get DDoS attacked out, or someone pulls your IP, something stupid like that, and basically you don't have to worry about, about that when you're on this kind of connection. So you need five things out of this. So first off, you're going to need a Windows computer or a Windows laptop with at least one Ethernet port. The second thing you're going to need is a Windows computer with either a wireless or a wired connection. If you're going to do it as a wired connection, you have to have two Ethernet ports. The third thing is you need an Ethernet cable, either a Cat5 or Cat6. Uh, the fourth thing is you need a NordVPN subscription and a PC application to do this. And lastly, you need a Xbox console. So whether it was one of the ones I mentioned, any of them work. So, I have some links down in the description, and it's three links. So, setup guy that I use, uh, the Ethernet cable off of Amazon, and then a Nor link to Nord. So, all right, let's get started into the setup. All right, so we're at the setup here now, which is great. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you that you need to disconnect your power cable for now. So that is out of the way, and now you need to attach your Ethernet cable to your console. So, have this slot there, and we bam, it's in. And just to show you that it's in the computer. Just to show you that the Ethernet cable is in the computer, this is it for up, for coming on from up here, as you can see. And I got this, so it's this wire here, plugged into the computer. So that's exactly what we want. Alright, so now I've got the console and the PC connected with the Ethernet cord. So now we'll go ahead and get to the PC setup of this. So I'll go ahead and swap here, so you can see everything on my screen. So, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to boot up Nord, and this is already assuming that you have the application downloaded and the subscription. I'm not going to go over all of that stuff with you. This is something you have to do on your own if you want to proceed with this method. So I'm on my bottom left, I'm just going to search NordVPN. The application comes up. And you may have to sign in. I already signed in earlier, so that that's fine. Uh, P2P connections are very nice, peer-to-peer. Uh, but just for an example here, we'll just type in Canada, and we have that there, so Toronto is probably the closest to me, so we'll hook up to a Toronto connection. And there we are, so we're just going to have this just on the side right here, and now we're going to go into the adapters. And this is how you're going to be able to actually connect your Nord coming from your computer towards your Xbox. So on the bottom left corner here, you're going to type in settings, enter, and then it'll go to status here, either click Ethernet or VPN, and in the under related settings, you go to change adapter options, and then I'm just going to quickly explain what all this mumble jumble is about real fast, so all these are just whatever Ethernet cables you have on your computer, we only are dealing with three, so the Ethernet port that you're going to use, which in my case is this one, your Nord Links, and your Wi-Fi 2. So the first thing you're going to want to, uh, first thing you want to do is you're going to right click on your Ethernet, or sorry, your Nord Links, Properties, Sharing tab, and then you're going to check this box, and you're going to select whatever Ethernet you're using. So in my case I'm doing Ethernet, so that's fine. So this is connected, that's connected, 
This doesn't say anything's going on right now. So this is all good. All this is all good. So I'm going to close this out. And now we are going to plug in the Xbox. Okay, so I'm going to power on the Xbox here. Change my monitor over. Now I'm going to use my controller here. I'm going to sign in. And then I am going to go to my settings. So we go here to the left, scroll down, settings, network settings. Now you're going to check uh, if it has a moderate nap type. So on the right there, it will say wired, PVV4, and nap type moderate. And if you know that it has a nap type that is moderate, then you're all set. Then you know that the Ethernet is actually working on your console. And we'll just jump over to PC here just super quick. And I'm just going to go back into settings. And pretty much the same process to get to those adapters. Now, this will say unidentified network, and that is how you know that this is being done properly. So, and there you have it. So you have the internet, your Nord, and your Ethernet. So it's all working good, which is super awesome. Alright, thanks a lot guys for watching the video. A lot shorter and sweeter this time, and to the point, and you can use, again, use this with Xbox One consoles. Series S, Series X, anything above Gen 4, this works for. Alright, if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, I can try to answer them below in the comments. And thank you so much, have a great day. Depressor out, Guardian.